Right, we're back with the uh, Alpha Legion Dreadnought that we are doing uh, with oil paint to get the, the scheme that I've been using for my army. So this is where we're at after about 36 hours. You can see that the color has become less transparent. You can also see that you can you can see through in areas where you can see the blue underneath and it's that sort of um, patchy sort of um, shifting color so there's a lot of different colors in there so at the moment we've got the the blue base coat that you can see in areas here and then you can see the cobalt green through there as well uh, you can see it's um, a little bit closer yeah that's probably a bit better you can see that it's uh, it's like it's a um i guess sort of uh, it's a shifting color so if you look at it from different angles there's different colors in it um, which is what i'm going for uh that's what the uh the rest of the guys look like so now what we're going to do is we're going to do some shading with enamels and um, oils and we're going to add some more color to it um, it hasn't been varnished yet it's not worth sealing it yet so we're we're um we're just going to add some more interesting color to it and really um push those push those um contrasting colors so we'll add some sort of some some browns to it now um what we are going to use is this tamiya panel line um, accent stuff so this is the dark brown and also the brown so this is a lighter brown it's more of a rusty sort of color um, yeah again we'll use our odorless solvent you need your little dish and you need this is just a um, cheap brush uh, yeah we're going to use, to add some interest in it, we're going to use the oil brusher, a bit of olive green. Um, so we're going to add a bit of olive green streaking to it. We may, I haven't decided yet, I'm going to sort of make this up as I go along. It's um, oil ochre. That's a good colour too. And we'll probably chuck in a little bit more of the buff as well. So let's get stuck in. a little bit of our odorless solvent in there just ready to go for the streaking uh, we're going to have some paper towel ready to go as well that's sorted all right now with this um with this panel line accent color you want to give it a good shake um, before you use it so this one's pretty old I've had this one for a couple of years and there's obviously still a ton in it that's what it looks like when it comes out of the thingo uh, we'll start always start down the bottom you never know what you're gonna get um, when you take it out of the packet so just a couple of drops there except for a couple of drops there uh, this brush is dry at the moment I'm just gonna sort of work it like that blend it as best i can give the brush a bit of a clean don't lick it definitely don't lick it yeah it doesn't taste very nice this stuff i promise you so I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can see you're already starting to get, and that's like a couple of seconds work, already starting to get a bit of depth there. We've added a little bit of depth. We'll just chuck a little bit more on there. Um, so in the meantime, since the last video, I've actually, you can see that I've actually um, applied some metallic, a metallic base to some of the trim, uh, not all of the trim, obviously, all of these nice detail bits, I'm still not sure how I want to attack those, but we'll see, we'll, you know, that'll develop, that's all, 
It's all part of the fun of it. So I'm just sort of stippling this. It's pretty, um, yeah, it's pretty, I quite enjoy this process. It's nice, it's relaxing. Uh, yeah. As you can see, just follow the sort of shape of the armor where you think that it would be um, darker and lighter. You can see that is, it's about where you want it. I'm pretty happy with that, that looks okay. And again, you've got your brown. The more color, the more interesting it'll be. Um, so if you look at a, a, a bright blue um, you know, dump truck or something, it's gonna have a lot of colors in it. If you look at a, yeah, if you look at a, well, no one in these days has armor that's blue. Uh, it's not a very tactically sound decision to have um, bright blue armor in a war zone. I suppose the UN have it, don't they? Maybe they've got some tanks that are blue that you can look at. I haven't been able to see any on um, Google Images, but uh, yeah. So we are just doing some, adding some brown in there. Again, if after this stage, if you think there's a bit too much brown, um, may have cooked it, just uh, yeah, go back in with your uh, go back in with your um, cobalt green. There's no need to wait for it either. You could you know you could pretty much just get this off with some white spirit and and crack on with the cobalt green straight away. But you can see this is not we're not spending a lot of time doing this. It's not um So you can see there, I'm not sure how well this picks it up, but the depth that we've added there in a couple of seconds um, this stuff is really, really easy to get these effects. Um, so let's do this bottom bit here of the knee guard. So I will probably go back in there either with um, some more cobalt green because I think I'd like it a bit a bit more green at the top of this surface here. But uh, yeah, look, it's it's okay. So let's put where are we going to find a nice flat panel? Let's try this leg here again because that's what we've been looking at. So let's have a look at this leg here and we'll add some extra colors to that. So we'll prop, prop that up there like that. And we'll have a crack with a little bit of green. So we'll get a bit of our olive green. Give him a bit of a um, clean up here. We can chuck a little bit there, a little bit there. We're just using a tiny bit. You don't want too much. You don't want, um, yeah, you don't want to go crazy with it. It just wants to be a subtle sort of thing. We put a bit of, um, a bit of white spirit on the brush. Check a bit of white spirit on there. Just drag it down. So I'm not sure if this is showing up. I can see it in, um, real life. You can see a little bit of the green there, and that's all I'm doing. Just a little bit of color to it, a little bit of um, something in interesting there. So let's tr I'll try it with a little, we'll put a little bit of this buff on. Again, just experiment. It's not, you know, it's not a, um, it's not the end of the world if you, if you fuck it up, just go again. So we'll put a little bit of um, white spirit on there quite a bit of white spirit on there actually because I don't want I don't want it to be that white and I still want some of that green in there so this it's like a I think they call it in the in the um, military modeling those guys uh, they call it a filter so this adds like that um, yeah it's a filter 
I guess that's what they call it. So we're just putting putting some interest to it. You know, it's, it'd be pretty it'd be pretty boring if it was all just one colour. I think anyway. You know, I like a bit of contrast in it, especially on these big flat panels. So there we go. We've got some some greens in there, some browns, a bit of white, the blue underneath, and the um, base coat. So this will come up. You'll see it better on um, when it's once it's dry. You should see it a bit better. But you can see that it's. I think the armor reflects the. Um, the idea of the legion itself. You don't know what you're looking at. You've got a lot of different colors going on in there um yeah so let's have a look at a couple of other bits that we can do um i'm just propping him up there let's see my um camera rig <laughs> it's a pretty it's a pretty grandiose term for what this is which is a um iphone blue tacked to the top of a um daylight lamp so let's, uh, let's have a look at what's happening down there. Again, we'll give this um, give this a bit of a shake again because it does all tend to settle. And we want lots of pigment here. So you can see, chuck a bit on there. It doesn't matter if you get a bit on this, um, this uh, trim at the moment. See, I'm not using my um, Citadel handle at the moment you don't really need it for this bit because you're not you don't have like huge dollops of um of paint and thinners cruising around but um yeah maybe i'll put it on a bit later so this area down at the bottom here of the leg is where you'd expect it to be pretty um to be pretty dirty to for the armor to be quite worn down here where it's coming into contact with um the ground where the shit hits the shovel as they say so again this will look a lot smoother and a lot nicer um in a, maybe another 24 hours when it's all set and it's all So I'm going to go with a bit of the, the lighter colour brown just to show you what it looks like. Um, you know, if I'm, I don't, you, this does sort of look a bit more like rust than the other one. So uh, you've got to use this sparingly. I'm not sure if you can see that. And you're just touching it. It's pretty, yeah, it's easy. So that's that. You can see where we did the um, a bit of the colour, and it, yesterday a bit of the white, um, the buff, sorry, the buff oil brusher colour on the top there, and it's just sort of it looks like faded paint. So once all this, um, once all this is got its its weathering and its other colours involved, you'll see that it does actually look. Um, yeah, it looks nice. I like it. Yeah, so that is that is a bit of the green. I think we can probably put a little bit um, of the brown into this bit at the top here, and we sort of just have to be really careful. You just touch it, and he's fucked it. There you go. <laughs> so we get a little bit of that. Because I've added a bit too much. That's a, actually that's all right. A bit of brown there, and I'm just cleaning this up with a bit of white spirit, and it's just leaving it in the recesses. That's a happy little accident there, as the mighty Bob Ross would say. Yeah, 
Okay. Again, it's very shiny um, when you're looking at it in this light, but it's, uh, let me see if we can, can we see that a bit better in a bit more natural light? There's not a lot of natural light here at the moment. Anyway, so we're going to go through and just add a bit of um, a bit of interest to it with colour. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll come back tomorrow. Have another quick quick video tomorrow. Yeah, if you've got any questions, just um, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks, guys.